recently purchased this Takumi machine from Lead Precision Machine Tools. What was the reason behind buying it? Um, we've gained uh, a large contract and we have to do some uh, large format machining. Um, I've currently got large X-axis machines, uh, but it had nothing with a, a larger Y on it. And I needed a high-speed uh, aluminium machine. Uh, and does this offer bo you both of those? Yes, it does. Um, it's 2.2 um, in X, uh, 1.6 in Y. Uh, it's got a 15,000 spindle and um, it is perfect for high-speed aluminium machining. And is that what you're going to be doing? Is it predominantly going to be machining aluminium? Because this part you've got on here looks like steel. Ah, uh, yeah, we've only had the machine a couple of months. Uh, the contract for me is not starting yet until the next few months. Um, we've done some of it already, but we've done it on our other machines. Um, we just stuck that on there to, um, just, just to have a go, really. Okay, now it's a high-spec machine, isn't it? It comes with linear scales, it's got a high-speed spindle, 15,000 RPM, through spindle coolant. Did, did, is, are those the sorts of things you need or you wanted for the work you're going to be tackling? It is really because it's all for me. It's all, all about getting the job off the machine um, and being accurate at the same time. The job I've got isn't particularly fussy on, on tolerances, um, but I will want to remove metal as quick as I possibly can. So high-speed spindle, getting the chips away from the cut as, as quick as possible, all helps to get the job off the machine. And is this your first bridge-type machining centre? It is my first bridge-type machining centre. I've thought about it for a while, um, but this is my first skir skirmish into the uh, into the bridge-type machining. Yeah. Now, what interests me is the Takumi brand. You, you've, you've obviously spent, I mean, this, this has cost your business a lot of money. I mean, it's a, it's a very economical machine. But when you, when you make a purchase like this, you need to get it right. So you must have explored Takumi and found out, well, what are the reasons why you actually bought it? OK, well, it's a little bit of an accident how I managed to find the brand. Um, because of my relationship with Leadwell, we, we've had Leadwells for years and years, and I went to the Mac exhibition and um, I, I stopped on the Leadwell stand, and it was just through a, a conversation with the guys at Leadwell that I was up there looking for a large format machine, and they said, well, we do it for a large format machine, and then obviously they introduced me to the Takumi brand, never heard of it before, a little bit worried, obviously, because I'd never heard of it before, but yeah, I've done my research, I've had a look, um, I've, I've done a bit of Googling around the marketplace to see where they are in the country and how long they've been here, I've looked at the company in Taiwan, it does what it says on a tin. And you, you, you said to me earlier that you, you performed some searches on the internet to find out whether there were lots of these machines for sale, how long companies had had them. And that's what gave you confidence as well, wasn't it? It did. Um, I looked around through auction sites and things for sale, and there are a few out there, and they're all sort of 15, 20 years old. They're still in work in order. They've obviously been maintained by Leadwell. Um, or lead machine tools, yeah, I, I, that gives me confidence, yeah. Now, it's a me and I casting machine, so th there's a lot of attention gone into the, the quality of the build. The access, you can see as we open the doors, you can get into the machine and load parts. Th those are big factors for you too, aren't they? It will be, um, because my plan is to stick um, a 1.5 by 2 metre aluminium plate on here and then nest a few parts out of it, rather than do one part at a time. So, yeah, getting a, a large job in here is... is, is, is prime for me plus the fact every now and again we do some odd things and you can open up the front door you can open the back door I could stick something 20 meters on if I wanted to and just work in bits of it you know it's quite versatile and, and, I, and I'm sensing that that y-axis is a big kind of factor as well the y-axis is my big thing I mean I've got three meter machines here I've had three meter machines here for years um, but my constraints have always been 850-ish in the y um, and a lot of these plates are meter plus 1.5 um, so there I needed something bigger in the y it's not so much x it's the y for me and engineers always like to know how much these things cost, and I know you're not going to tell us exactly, but is it competitive when you were looking around the market and look at the other options for you, taking quality and price into account? How did, how did both of those perform? It's massively beneficial, I think. The machines, I can't fault the quality. Obviously, we haven't run it in anger yet, but from what I know of it, it's 30 tons in weight, there or thereabouts. Um, it's a solid built machine, you know. It's, I like all the touches. There's no, sh there's no corners being cut with it. It's... You know, I'm looking at all the other machines I've got. It, it stands there with all the rest of them. I, absolutely. And for the price, that's fantastic. OK, and then you've also got coming next to this shortly, which we won't labour on, but you've got a Cao Ming machine, which you bought from Lead Machine yeah, Tools as well. Absolutely. It's going to complement this one quite nicely. It is. Um, I've got a part of the contract is obviously there's aluminium parts, but the other part, of the, there's some armour steel parts. Um, and obviously, whilst I've got to be fair, I will also say, once I opened the doors here um, on this machine, I found some steel chips inside the machine from their trials which are pretty significant, I've got to be honest. So I'm actually quite excited to put some steel on it as well, which is why we got that job on here, because it, although it's a nice speed aluminium machine, it's got, some t it's got some grunt. So you're telling me that those two augers down either side didn't get rid of the steel? I think it's, well, OK, we'll see. Maybe they left it in there for the reason. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I, I was pretty impressed. I, in fact, I asked Ledwell to tell me 
what they did as their, as their trial machining, and uh, they, they've gone away to find that out. Because um, I was quite impressed with the size of what they've of what's in there, unless they've just thrown that in for sake. Well, I, well, I have seen these machines in action before. We oh, have yeah. at MTD. So uh, I ask you these questions, but I know that what you're saying is right. We've seen them in action. That there aren't as many. Takumi machines in the country as there are Leadwell machines, no, no. but there's a reason for that because it's a it's a fairly well it's a bigger machine for a, for a, for a niche industry. Yeah, it is. You're not. You know, you don't want one of these unless you've got the work for it. And then same with the combing. I've got the combing, as you said, come in um, different to this. That's going to be doing my steel. That's a high high torque machine. Plenty of grunt. Both have got face and taper spindles. Well, this is a BT. It is, but this is a face and taper as well. So you've got a bit of extra, you know, rigidity. Um, the, the combing has got a, a bigger uh, taper on it. Uh, it's also five face as well, so it gives me a bit more versatility. So I think the two together is just going to, yeah, I can't wait. Strengthen your offering. Thanks, Simon. Absolutely. Thank you.